Alright, welcome back to the thankless task that is Ryukyu World Conquest attempt number two. Now oh, it's a couple of years later. Uh, I had a bit of trouble setting up the Religious Unity exploit. Um, now, we have the, the wonderful Religious Unity calculator and it's as accurate as you can get. Unfortunately, the game only supplies you with Religious Unity to two significant figures. So when I annexed the uh, the base tax of land that I thought I would need, which was 6, 6, and 4, uh, unfortunately my religious unity was a little off. And then I panicked and I went, oh god, what am I going to do? Pooling my colonies, uh, well, I'd needed to get a little bit more religious unity than Samtoy itself was giving me. So, 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 what was I to do? I sent out a couple of missionaries to uh, Japan in the hopes that they would convert some land and bring my religion up a bit. And uh, I was thinking, oh, can I release a vassal, uh, make some space, I can't release a wa vassal while I'm at war. I don't want to finish up any of these wars when I've got stuff to take. And then I got the event, which converted Uzkind to Animist for me. And that really saved the day. So, using that, th that was just enough to bring up our religious unity to the point where taking and releasing Sam Toy itself was uh, was okay. Actually, it wasn't. I had to also abandon Midway to, uh, to get that back up. But we did. We've got our admin points and our dip points. We had enough to take the next administrative efficiency tech level to give us full administrative efficiency. So it's really time to take our conquering boots and stick them up. Germany's ours. Uh, what else is there to cover? Hmm. That's really all that happened. I just let my sieges progress and I don't think there are any that are still going. Uh, I brought all my troops over that I could spare to eradicate that hundred stack of uh, rebels over in Russia. I'm sure they're not grateful about it at all. Eh, defended our territory. Plus nine. <sighs> Blood Mech has uh, noticed one of the... I'm not even going to call it a nuke, but another little trick. In fact, that trick is not finished. We'll go into it later. Um, hmm. Rebels are okay, despite our high overextension. And it's just about time to start making peace. I just need my uh, two diplomats to come home and I will be ready. Now I cancelled my core creation on Austria's land. I think I am actually going to release them because they're going to be very powerful and they will aid me in this. And I don't need their land as borders anymore because I'm about to rip uh, Bavaria to pieces. Okay, we'll just keep Samtoy for now because I'm not gagging for admin or dip at the moment. And I'll put my... Uh, colonists to use out here and here. Yeah. Okay, army tradition. Couldn't care much less about that. I'm also erecting a new army because I'm going to need it. Ugh, inflation. Another in a long list of numbers. Right, well Manchua, there's no need for you to exist. Palatinate, there is no need for you to exist. for those rebels to exist either. Ah. Just take you back. As usual, if anybody wants me to read anything, tag it with DDR or Jake. I will read it, I will answer any questions, or at least I will attempt to. Alright, Iraqi Rebs, no time for you. Just accept your petty demands. I don't want you marching over and dealing with my, uh, my new army. 
Analogical, you haven't missed anything. I've only been streaming for about five minutes. So barely let a month pass. Okay, got a couple free dips. And I'm going to hold on to that for a wee while. We got our Austrian Patriots. Don't care. And we have two free diplomats, so we can make peace with Hansa and Bavaria. I'll get my other free diplomats in 17 and 20 days. There's quite a bit of rivalry going on, on in the rest of the house. Is it uh, audible to you? Right, Hansa. Hansa were big, much too big to annex in one war. At least before we had 75% administrative efficiency means we can gobble up the whole lot for 100%. In fact, individually, the provinces, they're still quite expensive. Hamburg especially. If I didn't have this amount of administrative efficiency, Hamburg would be worth uh, over 100%, I think. That would be no joke. But we're just going to fool Annex you for 44% overextension. Get inside me, Hansa. Trade glances with my innards. And we can make peace with Bavaria as well. The peace we're going to make with you guys. Mm, I want as much land as possible so that you're easier to eat up. But do you have any uncouth alliances? You do not. So let's chew up as much of you as we can as well. And take your dosh. Take your dosh. Just make sure there's nobody else that I need to be dealing with. Nah, Sweden we can deal with in due time. All this nom nom nom. Okay. This has given us a fresh set of uh, spies. So we're going to send them out wherever they are needed across the French countryside leave a spare one in Barry very good except for you two you're not allowed to go through my land uh, through my own land That'll remove your exile status. That's better, and the other one... Looking good. This way we'll have our eyes on France. And they're only mercs, they won't chew up our manpower. Such is the plan. I used this way back in the very first EU4 Ryuki World Conquest so that I could have eyes all over the Holy Roman Empire. Again, I think that was detailed in the After Action Report. Ah, Trenkal, welcome. Hope your streams have grown well too. I'm not sure if I would say this is going well, but it's certainly going. Now, we need to spit out all these vassals that we can, because we can't stand all this overextension. Spit out the bigger ones first. Switzerland's pretty big. Let's also start integrating the Papal State, because they're not doing a good enough job at dealing with Roma, so I might as well take matters into my own hands. I'll have to remember to do that before I go to war. Alright, what else can we re release? Hansa. And... Yeah, Mantua, I don't need your stinking land. Yeah, not Serbia. I could release Cleves. Diplomatic power is about to not matter at all, so it might just be better to release it. Hmm. That said, a big strong Bavaria under my control, that is even more appealing. So we'll break truce with Bavaria quite soon, annex them up and spit them back out. How are your feelings towards Austria, though? Is there any chance you two will ally? Neutral and neutral with negative relations. Not about to happen. That's okay. So, we've got 
our free diplomats. Let's start annexing the Pope. This will cost us 675 and it'll take four years. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll have enough to do that. No, I should be okay. Should be no problem. I'll get Rome and I will convert it myself because these guys are too lazy. With that, is there anything I need to do before going back to war? I'm not sure. Okay. Now, here is something. I can't annex Austria if I go straight to war with him because he is the Emperor. And admittedly, he's losing support, but he is still the Emperor. Now, if I declare on Bosnia, would he become the war leader in that war? And if he does, oh god, he's allied with Castile. Oh, uh, okay. Didn't, didn't want that. Hmm. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Didn't count on that. I don't want to war with Castile right now. Jake, remember to give you a new vassal some cash. I don't really have the free diplomats to do that right now. We'll get on it, though. Okay. Here are my options. I could fight... Saxony, who is allied with Austria. Or I could fight Bosnia, who's allied with Austria. Which do I choose? I'd rather Austria did not become war leader. He may well do so because he has a lot more troops. I'm not sure if it counts on troops or, or anything like that. I don't know how war leader gets calculated. But I want to get into a war where Austria is not the war leader. Lorraine, Munster, Saxony, Catalonia, Tuscany. Unfortunately, if I declare war on a Christian power, Portugal Defender of the Faith will join in, and Portugal is allied with Castile. Whereas if I fight Bosnia, there'll be no such troubles. Allied with Kurland and the Teutonic Order. However, they're also... Yeah, Catholics. And that means Portugal will come in. However, if I declare war on one of your miners, I think Bavaria would remain war leader. I may have to no see be it. That'll be expensive in terms of dip points to annex you. But, hmm... <laughs> Are there any allies of Austria besides Saxony, Bosnia, and Spain? Allied with Bosnia, Ireland, Lorraine, Munster, Saxony, Castile, and Catalonia, and Tuscany. With the exception of Saxony and Bosnia, they're all Catholic, and they would all bring in Portugal as Defender of the Faith. Mind you, Sweden... Eh? Sweden is part of the Empire? No, it's telling me that Bavaria are part of the Empire. Austria will protect them. There's an idea. It'd be a bit of a big hit. But I think Bo uh, Bavaria would remain war leader in that regard, and I could happily annex uh, Austria. And Bavaria wouldn't call in anyone else. Hmm. What'll it be? Sweden? Saxony? Or Bosnia? It'll be one of them, and I'm not sure which is the best. It all depends on who becomes war leader. The idea here is to annex Austria. That said, I want to annex Bavaria as well. Best case scenario, fight Sweden? Annex Austria? Annex Bavaria. But if I attack Bosnia and Austria get involved. Yeah, Austria would call in Castile, no doubt. And that would be horrible. But potentially manageable. Hmm. Okay. 
my overextension isn't as bad as it once was. Oh, people want to see the Imperial map? Yeah, there it is. If it's hashed with yellow, then it's, uh... Then it's owned by a non-member of the HRE. Very few princes. Hmm. Remove Volvo. Attack Austria, annex everyone at the same time. Yeah, Castile getting involved is a bit unsightly. You know, the last time I attacked Saxony, maybe it was Anhalt, Aachen got involved, and Aachen didn't become war leader despite having three provinces. If I attack Leipzig and Austria becomes involved, uh, I wonder. <laughs> I really wonder. Leipzig, Bosnia, or Sweden. Attack Castile. Castile's not a big threat, but they would draw out the war in a very unpleasant way. I want the war to be finished so that I can annex, uh, sorry, release vassals. Allied with Austria. Allied with Austria. I'm willing to try it with you. Let's see what happens. Revolts in Hessen. Well, there's going to be a lot of German revolts at the moment. I could not care less about them. I also really couldn't care much about uh, annexing Saxony. Damn it, Austria did become war leader. Which means they're going to call in all their friends. Could work to my advantage in that I can annex Austria, but that's probably going to make Bavaria uh, leader of the HRE. I'll look forward to seeing all your friends. I can't sell provinces because I'm a subject nation to whoever is asking if I could sell provinces. business. I'm going to need some cannons up there. Okay. Good and bad. Castile is involved, which means I can annex Austria. Probably not directly, though. Mm, it would probably have to be through Castile. That wouldn't work out. Hmm. Well, we'll roll with it. We'll see what happens. At the very least, I could reduce Austria to a one province minor peace out the war and then fight Bosnia and then uh, then Austria probably wouldn't become war leader. We'll see how it goes. At the very least it should be interesting. No need to leave any more than necessary here. What about your missionaries, Jake? Good thinking. Let's put them to use. But where? Yeah, my vassals can do a fair enough job of dealing with these guys. These jokers. I did break my truce, so I don't have... If I got two of these at once, what am I meant to do? They're allied with Munster, subject to Bavaria, and Austria will protect them. It's a good opportunity to annex Bavaria. 
and I won't really feel this stability loss. Kadvanix Munster whilst I'm at it. You know what, let's just keep the ball of war rolling. And I don't need to keep my troops permanently stationed on these mountains anymore because, well, who cares about them? If they revolt, then so be it. Could do with knowing where all my uh, good sieging generals are, though. You go that way, you head north, will be required up there. There's no way Castile get military access to France, though. They hate each other's guts. Jake, who are you at war with? That's getting a bit complicated as time goes on. We're at war with the Red. No problem. As long as we win a majority of the battles, we'll be A-OK. -okay. I wonder if Bosnia got involved. They're Austria's ally. And they did not. Minor inconveniences. I care not. Peasantry and Nasha. Don't even care. junk down there, the rest hang around there for further deployment. Win some battles. Well, that's right. Let's make a, make a move on uh, Bavaria. We want them annexed. want them out of the picture. We should also be slightly concerned about the movements of uh, Munster. They do pack a punch. Sod punch, they pack a wallop. and keep my, uh, my scrubs over there safe. Yeah, as I suspected, they're going for Ansbach. It's okay, we'll back them up. We will back them up like crazy. 19th of July, huh? Our best general is just you and you're nothing special. But you're still in my employ, and you're better than theirs, so get to it. 19th, bring it on. Ugh, changed his mind. He's going for Bamberg, though, which means he's going to probably wipe those guys 10 to 1. Or almost 10 to 1, I don't know. If we can prevent him from doing that, make him rethink his actions whilst proper reinforcements make their way across. <laughs> That's alright if he just stays put there, but I uh, can never be quite sure what his plans are. Jake, Veniv and Erx. None of that made sense. Let's get that out of the way. All right. 
Okay. Do I just attack him? It's only mercenaries I'd be sending to their death, nothing important. them up with actual foot troops. That might help a bit. Crush them proper. Maybe this is all a trap to make me focus too highly on this one little stack. Okay, I'll take it. What are we getting there? First of September? Thirty first? Now we'll wait just a little bit. One day, and on you go. Everyone arrives in the second. Let's eradicate them. Eviscerate them. A mere 400... Oh, bloody hell. The pressure's on. I can't screw up now. I'm sure I'll find a way, though. Right, plenty of rebels, but who really cares? to Bamberg of all places. I can't think of anywhere else you'd really be going, so we'll just wipe you off the face with our regular foot troops. The others... You're required over there. And you guys... Is there any requirement for you? Get onto Munster's capital, will you? I wonder if Castile's going to try and seize my uh, my colonies. That would be a dick move of them. The supply limit's fine around here. Just just wait around in Bamberg. Meanwhile, the rest of my Merc forces have arrived. Just as well I had my eyes on them. They would have marched into that uh, mountainous battle. I would have got slapped, see for it. Still 1771, glad to see. I'm going to dock my fleet in Skåne, just in case Sweden occupies it. My boats will pop out and prevent them from crossing. We're getting good war score just from winning battles. I'm not sure it'll be enough, but we're doing all we can around here. You know what, it's only mercs I've got. We can wipe those mountainous men off the face of the earth. Maybe maybe not sending in real troops though. Ugh. Ugh. Get out. These are my lawfully owned mountains. Auto clicker, save me. Map to mouse button, 100 clicks a second. Now this event's going to take away 18,000 of our manpower. We've seen this done several times before, but we're just going to use up all of our manpower and then take the event and then undo that. You can't have negative manpower, so all we lost there was about 500 men instead of 18,000. Easy peasy. <laughs> 